for replacing our old Corsair H60 uh, water cooler. And we're going to try this new Zalman Resurator 3 to see if we can get a little bit higher overclocking levels and see if it cools a little bit more. All right, the first thing I did is I separated out the, the screws that we're going to use. The manual uh, has uh, um, shows you which screws you need for which socket type you have. Um, and to prevent yourself from a lot of heartache, go ahead and pull out the ones that you don't need. Put them back in the baggie, put it aside and get it out of the way, and then put the, the ones that you're going to be using put them in your little screw holder so that they're handy and you can get at them when you need them. Um, if we're going to be adding uh, an extra 120 millimeter fan so we're going to use these longer screws to uh, connect it. Put these aside. All right. Very important thing, really the first step is you've got to pull this little plastic cover off the, 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 the copper plate on the bottom of the pump. It just pulls right off. If you leave that on, it's not going to work. All right, well, what we're going to do first is we're going to prep the case. Uh, the first thing you want to make sure you always do whenever you're working with um, a motherboard or any computer part is you want to make sure you're, you're uh, get discharge any static electricity. Um, and we live in a low, I mean, uh, uh, an environment which has high humidity, so we don't really have a problem with it. But you may need to, you know, in certain areas, high altitude, you may need to wear a little wrist strap to, to ground you to the case. Uh, but right here, it's just not necessary where we live. Um, we need to make room. Uh, this is really a two-person job, and I'm going to get someone to uh, assist me in a, in a few minutes. But you need room because this, uh, the cooler is big and it, it, it's kind of cumbersome putting it in but uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to pop out our ram by the way this is an uh, asus uh, maximus 6 hero uh, motherboard that we're installing it in um, we've taken out the uh, the stock fan and or the corsair h60 which is what we had in it and uh, we've cleaned off the processor good uh, we cleaned it off with a uh, uh, we actually took it out like so, whoops, I'm not supposed to do it that way. Um, we took it out like this, very carefully not to touch the, the, the pins or the, the, the CPU. And we cleaned it off good with 90% uh, alcohol. Just cleaned it off good to get any th thermal compound that uh, was on it off. Make sure this the CPU only goes in one way, there's two little notches. You want to make sure before you uh, lock back in the bracket that you have it in exactly right uh, so that you don't end up bending the pins. Put it down there, slide it in slowly, and then just put the little spring latch there. All right. Um, we took out the RAM. We're also going to take out the video card. It really does get in the way. So we're going to unplug the power from the video card. Take out the little screws. Carefully remove it, put it over to the side. All right, next we're going to prep the, the back plate. Again, you need to consult the instruction manual, make sure you get everything positioned correctly for the specific socket that you're using. Um, for the 1150 socket, uh, the they go in just like this. Oops. And you got these little clips that, that hold the, uh, the, the nut. I guess these are technically bolts in place, but it, there's three little holes you've got to make sure you get in the middle one for the 1150. Each socket has a little bit different place. For the life of me, I don't know why they need to change these, how these sockets are set up so much, um, but they do. So just read your instructions and you'll be fine. Um, 
and snap in place like that. back plates ready to go and the next thing we do we're going to just install our adhesive tape it goes in right there on the socket just like this and then we're going to stick it to the back plate and it should fit in there just perfectly all right if I if I've got all my nuts line uh, incorrectly and I followed the instructions correctly the instructions written in uh, German, English, Spanish, and French intermittently. Um, it should just fit right in here with the adhesive tape that we have. We'll just hold it in place and it should just slide right in these little holes perfectly, which it does. And just press it in there firmly and it should be just absolutely set in there absolutely perfectly. All right, this is the uh, Intel socket clip. <clears throat> Remember, I said we're gonna, we've got an 1150 uh, socket. Um, it's very important. It's very important that you look at the manual and you put this on correctly. It's very easy to put it on upside down. If you put it on upside down, the the copper will still barely touch the the heat sink on the processor, and it will not cool very well. Uh, and you'll think the thing doesn't work well. You got to put it on correctly. So look at the little diagram. The other thing you got to make sure you do when you put it on is there's a correct way, and basically it makes an X going around right here where it says uh, Zalman, and you want to make sure that you you've got it started right. So you, you you put it on, making sure you put it on correctly, and then you've got to line up these little screws here. And you've got eight little screws that you've got to screw on the Intel adapter. We're going, to put, we're going to put on the thermal grease that comes with this. That's what I'm using the scissors for. Make it where I can get that out there. I'm going to put a, about a BB's worth. So, oops, well maybe that might be a little, that's about a BB's worth. And some people say just put the uh, block right on top of it. I'm a believer in spreading it out. That's where the credit card comes in. You just kind of got to work it back and forth on the block. You want to get a nice even layer. You don't want to put any more than is necessary. seat the pump it's right over now this is where it takes two people I've got somebody holding the uh, fan and you just kind of move the pump right in place it's almost impossible to do with one person it's a lot easier to do with two people put your screws in one at a time into the bolts that we've already installed. Alright, once we get them all in there, we want to 
tighten them a little bit at a time, alternating one side to the next so that it seats on there evenly. Tighten them all the way down. And they're nice and snug. Now, save yourself from some trouble. Go ahead and plug in the uh, the uh, water pump, and we're going to put it on this one in the CPU optional. This is a three pin, so it should run at a constant rate of speed. All right, we're going to go ahead and put in our fan, and you put in the fan and the uh, heat sink fan, put them in together. So I'm going to go ahead and, and the hoses go up on the top. And just to make it easier for me in a second, go ahead and hold that air. In. I'm going to go ahead and plug in up here, up top, the alternative fan. Kind of hard to see on the four pin. CPU fan plug. And then they give you the bolts from the rear of the case, you just slide them through. And screw them into the fan. I'm just going to get them start one started. Hold that for me, Aaron. And then the second one, just got to line them up. And also, you want to make sure your fans are going in the right direction so everything's blowing out of the case. Um, it's kind of easy to not do that. Just get started and they'll hang there and then I'll do the lower ones. I'm get them nice and snug but not overly tight in case you ever need to take them out again. You don't want the vibrations. So snugger better. And the last thing I'm going to do, come around here, is I'm going to plug this four pin from the uh, main fan just right in here to the motherboard. And it is installed. Now we're ready to go back and we'll reinstall our RAM and reinstall our video card. And we'll uh, plug it in. Starting up the Zalman Reservator 3 for the first time. So let's talk about it. You know, what do we think of it? You know, we're comparing it to an older uh, water cooler, the uh, Corsair H60. Um, this is a brand new, top of the line, uh, high, more high tech cooler, um, and generally, I was very impressed with it. First of all, it was price. It's expensive. It's currently $139. Now, when you pay $139 for uh, you know a, a CPU cooler, you know you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? In this case, yeah, I think it was. It's made of very high quality materials. It looks great quiet, a uh, really, really high quality build, um, built uh, 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 nanofluid cooler. Installation. This is where we had the problem. The directions were absolutely horrible. They alternated, well the first half is Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and uh, maybe Mandarin or some other language, I don't know. The second half of the manual 
is in English, Spanish, German, and um, English, Spanish, German, and some other language, French. All right. And the funny thing about it is, though, it'll give you one line in English, one line in German, one line in French, one line in Spanish, and then it'll go back to English again. Who in the world can read like this? It's absolutely horrible. They need to take the guy out and put this man together and shoot him. I mean, it's, it's almost useless. Furthermore, I'm not sure if it's a design flaw or if the directions are wrong, if the manual's wrong or what, but when we installed the water block onto the CPU, it left a small gap. It would not get nice and tight on there when we followed the directions like he said. So we took the bracket that, that uh, hooked the water block to the motherboard and we flipped it upside down and we screwed it on that way and it works great, absolutely perfectly. It, it, you know, it was not cooling much better than stock air when we followed the directions. When we flipped the, the bracket upside down, it, it worked wonderfully. So I don't know what's wrong there. I don't know if it's the directions. I don't know if it's, you know, who knows. But Zalman needs to get their act together and fix that because they're going to have these people sending these back because they're going to follow the directions and it's not going to work right. Um, we just like to mess around with stuff and we figured out that the, you know, the, the problem was the, 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 the bracket. Uh, but once we got that bracket all nice and snug, snug it cooled fantastic. Um, it really surprised me. It cooled 9 degrees better under full load uh, than the Corsair 860. Um, I was expecting four, maybe five degrees. Nine degrees is about twice as good as I expected. Furthermore, when we when we went with a, a higher overclock, we were able to overclock the processor further than we were with the Corsair H60 because it cooled a lot better. Um, in addition to that, it's quiet. Even under full load, the fans are quiet. Even when we added the second fan and put in a push-pull configuration, it's quiet. Um, so, you know, performance-wise, we thought it was great. Um, the last thing is just aesthetics. It looks great in the uh, your computer if you've got a little window or in your case or whatever. It glows blue. The fan glows. I mean, it just looks it looks good in the case. It looks much better than those stocky square uh, coolers that everybody else makes. So, you know, my recommendation is if you're thinking about um, you know buying a new uh, uh, closed loop cooler. This is a great one. Go out and buy it. But be very careful with the directions. And I hope somebody from Zalman will see this video and go and look at their manual and say, oh, he's right. You know, this is the crappiest manual in the history of mankind. Um, and, uh, and, and fix it. Um, and also look at the little retention bracket. Um, I don't know if, you know, why, why we had to flip it upside down if, you know, whatever. It works now and it works great. So that's it. Um, I recommend you go out and buy one.